Hi there, I'm back. Okay, this is my Bowflex. I have this set up here. Uh, and what I need to do is I need to get the weights on there. Now these is the old rod band type here. So um, if you do or don't have a, any experience using a Bowflex, the interesting thing about this machine is that um, it really, uh, the resistance is a little different than a typical weight machine. So if you're not used to using it, don't hulk out on it because you, you can, uh, the way it pulls, the way the muscle is, or the weights are weighted, the resistance is weighted, is more of a continual resistance, whereas like um, free weights um, is heavy whenever it's furthest away from the ground, right? So like as you're pulling up, it's the heaviest. Um, whereas on a Bowflex, it's really a linear, more of a linear, like a solid resistance. So it's hard at the beginning of the motion, about the same as, as about the same as hard at the beginning of the motion as it is at the end of the motion. And so it's more of a continual type uh, resistance. And so uh, if you're not used to it, you can strain muscles. So don't, don't try to hulk out. You might not feel like you're lifting as heavy as you normally would, but trust me, uh, you don't want to lift, try to lift too heavy too soon on a bullfrog. So that said, um, this is much, very similar to like a seated row exercise that you're, you would do at a gym. So you get the, get the handles and uh, typically I like to use handles that are close together. And uh, the main thing you want to do to make these effective for working your rhomboids is to squeeze your shoulder blades together at the end. So this is just my starting position. Make sure I keep my lower back curved, um, posture good, and I pull back and pulling into my tummy and squeezing my shoulder blades together, okay? And I, and I think squeeze and then I lower the resistance back, let my shoulders roll forward just a little bit, get good posture again, and roll in, okay? Core, really squeeze those shoulder blades. Six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, ten. Okay, so same thing with these. Um, we're trying to do a boosting workout, so we're definitely trying to challenge our muscles, but remember that change is challenge too. Not just heavy weights, not just, um, you know, uh, anything that changes is challenging to your body. So whenever you start doing a new exercise that you haven't done in a while, always err on the side of caution. So like I said with these, um, the Bowflex, uh, I'm not, I haven't been using this lately, so I don't want to hurt myself. I'd rather err on the side of caution Make sure that I'm really using good form, that I'm really squeezing hard uh, at the when I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together, and um, you know, in using proper form rather than trying to hulk out on it when I'm not used to it. Now, say if I did this, you know, twice a week, uh, a couple weeks into it, definitely um, my muscles would be used to it. I'd be used to the way the machine works. Definitely, it's time to up the weight. Uh, definitely, it's time to challenge myself on this exercise. So, just you know, be smart about it. Don't jump in. Don't be a weekend warrior about about your fitness because in the long run, it does not pay. It it, it en enables you to get injured very easily if you just jump in and, and do things that you shouldn't be doing. You know, be very cautious. And as I get older, the more cautious I get, the more in tune with the way my body works and and I don't want to get hurt because if I get hurt that means that I'm going to miss workouts and I don't want to have to do that. So let's go ahead and do the next set. Okay, this time I'm going to try to scoot back on my bench a little further so, so I get a little bit longer of a stretch, okay? So stretching forward, sit up with good posture and row in, squeeze those shoulder blades together, let the weight come back down. I'm going to roll forward just a little bit and as I'm doing this, I want to get my lower back straightened up first, and then I roll, roll in, lifting my chest, squeezing my shoulder blades together, come back to where my arms are extended, then I'm going to extend my lower 
my body forward and so these kind of work your whole back your lower back too as you as you come forward it's almost like a whole back exercise when you do it like this okay now if you have like maybe a lower back injury or you don't want to you know even even go there you can just stay up nice and tall the whole time and just think about rowing in squeezing those shoulder blades together I like to get that full back stretch work that lower back a little bit but you gotta make sure you use proper form when you're doing that okay roll forward a little bit straighten up that lower back first then upper back relax your body lower back upper back squeeze okay so that's a seated row uh, bow flex style um, I have one more set of those to do and then I have a final set of pull-ups to do so that's a pretty good workout for me today definitely a very effective big muscle exercises for today all those pull-ups man those those are killer uh, you can get a great back workout at home um, definitely challenge myself today I know I will be sore so anyway I want you to have confidence in knowing that you can get a good workout at home no matter what body part you're working and where there's a will there's a way you can find a way to get it done and every single little bit counts remember that especially when you're boosting you got to keep that that momentum going uh, make sure you're focusing on building your metabolism boosting it so that when you go into your next buffing phase that you are going to be able to see effective results all right take care and uh, have fun working those big big muscles